Hello peoples, welcome back to another episode of Terraria. Today's episode 31. Now I was in the middle of trying to remove all the granite from this granite cave, you know, just for something off camera to do, but as I descended lower, look who I found here. The goblin tinkerer. Tinkerer. So I freed him and now he'll move into a house somewhere, probably an outpost. I really expected him to show up in the Skeletron dungeon, but now, now that I have him, I can buy Tinkerer's Workshop and Rocket Boots, and I can combine all the fancy Tinkerer's Workshop accessories. Oh, yes. But, well, I'm not really prepared for today's episode, but I will do the rest of the recording later. I just found this guy I wanted to show you. And I will get really right into it next time. Next time. Well, a bit later on for you, but for me, in a day or two. Alright, I'll see you then. Alright, here we are. I'm all set. So, the uh, Goblin Tinkerer, he moved into one of the outposts all the way to the west. Past the Crimson, past the Snow. All the way into this uh, Pumpkin outpost. Look at how far he decided to move into, and I think this is where I found him, down in this granite cave. And yes, I did mine out the whole thing, so all that's left is the background. Right, so, I told the witch doctor to move into the pumpkin place instead. No, wait, no. I made the goblin tinker move in here instead because it's closer, and then I told the witch doctor to move in here instead. And then I went back home and told Smador to move in here. Okay, so I bought the Tinkerer's Workshop plop, and made a list of things that I can already combine. Except for this, Anklet of Wind. I need one more item along with this to make lightning boots. So let's get started with compass plus depth meter plus platinum watch. This makes a GPS, shows my position and tells the time. Okay, so I am 78 east, 280 surface, and it is 11 p.m. Great, so I get all the features of those items put into one, and ooh, by the looks of it, it's a material for one additional thing. What can I do with this? PDA material <laughs> displays everything. So, wow. Fish finder, that's another thing that I'm close to crafting. Goblin tech. Wreck 3000. Okay, um, well, I'll hold on to that for now, but this actually frees up a lot of space in my inventory. It can take up the place of my watch. Next thing is metal detector plus stopwatch plus DPS meter, which crafts goblin tech. Displays speed, damage per second, and valuable ore. Uh, does it actually display the ore, or just tell me when there's something nearby? Oh, I guess it tells me when there's something nearby, like the uh, metal detector did. Okay, like, chest nearby, tungsten nearby. So, damage, speed... Hey, yeah, laser beam's pretty good. 200 damage per second. Okay, next is the nature's gift plus mana potion. These things are so cool. Uh, let's see, nature's gift mana potion gets me mana flower. Of course, it used up this mana potion instead of the one I had there. So this is a... I'm going to replace the brain with this, because to use this, I would have to get hit by things, and I don't want to get hit by things. This is basically a savior on mana usage. You don't have to use mana potions yourself, and you can use more before you need to use a potion. Next, let's see. The balloon? I think I can do something with that. Yes, I can. I just have to combine it with the bottle I have already on. That makes a cloud in a balloon. Allows double jump and increases jump height. Let's try it out. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Ooh, that's a big jump. Yeah, that's a really big jump. Oh, you know what else? I figured out that... Well, not figure out, more like accidentally found out that you can actually dye the extra items, like this Crimson Heart, your mount, 
and your hook. I've got acid die on the mount, a negative die on my slime hook. Come on, show it off. There we go. So it's the colors are inverted. It used to be blue, but now it's yellow and whitish on the outline. And what was the last thing? Crimson hurt, orange. You can see it's kind of brownish here. Ugh. <laughs> and it also provides light, so pretty good. Now I think there's one more thing I have left to craft. Wow, that's a really big jump. Actually, I can. Okay, okay. I can make something further with the cloud in a balloon. But I'll check that after I do the last thing here. Spectre boots. Hermes boots plus rocket boots. Bought the rocket boots from the Tinkerer. So this allows me to run super fast and allows flight. Uh, what do I want to replace? Maybe the hive pack. Mm, da, da, da. Try to figure out what I want. Yeah, probably the hive pack because the laser space gun doing me pretty good. And Spectre Boots is something I probably want to have in the long term. So I better pick out something right now. So how fast do I go? That's pretty good. 30 MPH. Not bad. Oh, and I've done a few things off camera. I've added death weed to the uh, planting area. The Dryad started selling the Deathweed Planters, I think after I defeated Brain of Cthulhu or something. I'm sure there's a specific requirement. Also, on top of the clinic, I removed the extract inhibitors that were, or I guess you could imagine they were some kind of, I don't know, radiators or air conditioning. I replaced them with like rooftop gardens for the water leaf and shearthorn snow and sand. It looks pretty nice. Now, what else? Anklet of the Wind. I think I showed that already that... Yeah, I didn't show it, but I did say it. I can make uh, lightning boots with that. The specter boots I have on, plus an aglet. This is actually a common find in treasure chests. Ironically enough, though, I haven't found one yet. That makes lightning boots. I'm not sure what lightning boots makes after that. I think you, think you combine it with skates. Okay, so, you know what? Actually, did I find any new dyes? I did Mirage Dye. This is pretty fun. I'll just go through this one. Right there. Nope. There. And there. Mirage Dye makes it look like your character is a mirage. Like, you'll just start to get a bit wavy and things. You know how the desert is really hot and you see sort of a illusion or hallucination? Kind of like that. Okay, so, well, with the time we have left, I think I can... Oh, no, don't kill my new NPC. You jerk. 1,100 the zombie. Yeah, that's not going to get old. As if it hasn't already. So, I'm going to jump into the ice caves. Pew, pew, pew. Let's see what that's all about, because I've say, been seeing I've been wanting to, and it's been a while. So, here we go. Now the ice caves are just over here a little ways. I wonder if I can ride this. It looks to be so. It's flat. Where am I? <laughs> Can't see. Okay, here we are, the ice caves. That was a fun trip. Oh, and one thing about 1.3, or it may not be just 1.3, it could be expert mode. When you take a dip in ice water, you get the slowness debuff. That's kind of interesting. Pretty fun. Okay, so what is in here? Bunch of icy stuff. You know what I'm interested in is ice treasure chests. Because there are unique ice weapons and accessories that I can discover. How far does this uh, mine track go? Oh, hello, Undead Viking. This guy is unique to the ice biome and this cyan beetle drops cyan husk, which is used to make cyan dye. Oh, I think this room is actually... yeah, it is. The room is made out of boreal wood. Two, three. Give me that. Light this up. Ooh, bomb statue. And you do not want to open that door. 
<laughs> because it's ice water. What do we got? Ice blade. Which is very much good. 17 melee damage. Ooh, shoots an ice beam. Oh, well, that's cool. But I'm still gonna hang on to my falcon blade. Oh yeah, one last thing about the tinkerer, you can use him to reforge items, which means you don't have to be stuck with an unhappy ice blade. You can have a, well, bulky ice blade. And the thing about that is, uh, when you reforge a crummy enchant or a prefix, it costs less money than to reforge something with a really good prefix. Like, the unhappy ice blade will be very cheap to change. Die, ice slime. Ice bat. More like, not nice bat. Takes care of him. Now this ice bat. Oh, that was a regular bat. Whoops. Sorry. Case of mistaken identity. Where are all the ice chests? I bet this slime knows. I am getting a lot of ice from this. Because I don't have barely, well, well, really, barely enough already. I want to make new stuff out of ice. Oh, you know what? I think I need a special ice crafting station. Shiverthorn. No, I already have that. Might be worth my time to find fine bring explosives down here help me dig faster there's a life crystal hey hey look look, look who I found this is the uh, underground cavern skeleton merchant guy he's going by Tom today the only things constant in this world are death and taxes I've got both I'm not interested in your taxes buddy green counterweight. I don't have one of these. May as well grab it. There it is. Spelunker glow stick. This is the item that I got from him last time that I accidentally threw away. <laughs> so, and yeah, grab this because I don't have one and everything else I do have. I will bone torch. It's new. I'll grab a bunch of those. 99 is plenty. Yes. Can I just toss it? Yeah. And I'll grab a bunch of bombs. So the, uh, what is it? Spelunker's glow stick. Let me show you. So you hold it in your hand. And then these sparkly things in the wall. This shows everything like pots, ores, treasure chests, pretty much anything. And you know what? Just to make sure I don't throw away any more of these, I'm going to keep a few. Not much found in here. I'll go exploring later, some other time. Maybe I'll find something cool, but I will show you when I do get something. Probably, well, next time or whenever. Okay then, this has been episode 31? Let me check. Yes, episode 31 of Terraria 1.3. If you like this video, leave a like. And if you want to follow along with this series or anything else on my channel, you can subscribe as well. Okay, till next time. Be swell, stay well, and farewell.